Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make this video real quick because I've been messing around with Unreal Editor 5, Unreal Engine 5, whatever it's called, for the last 2-3 days now, and I've been trying to make my own world, get into the whole video game editing and creating and all this stuff, especially because this is such a new program and it's one of the most advanced programs I've ever seen. Um, but one thing that I've had a, an issue with is whenever I get into a world and I take one of the static meshes or like take for instance like I was trying to build a house and I was using one of the static uh, meshes that I downloaded from uh, the Pexel bridge little application that comes with it and every single time I'd go to put it in the world like I'd walk straight through it I wouldn't be able to like have any collision with it and I didn't see any videos about Unreal Engine 5 like you can go on YouTube and Google it and you'll find hundreds of videos on Unreal Engine 4 but there's hardly any videos on Unreal Engine 5 on like the very small details like that so this is just gonna be a quick little tutorial that I've decided to make real quick on how to add collision to 3D meshes and little items and, and objects and stuff like that. So take for instance this little bridge and it's really easy too. I had no idea that it was this easy. So you come in here and normally you won't see this. So you come up here and you go to collision and I'm just going to remove this right now. So you come in and the way you get to it is you navigate down to your mega scans, your 3D assets, you find whatever item, whatever, uh, whether it's a boulder or a lantern or a statue, but we're gonna go with this bridge for right now. So you double click it, you come in real quick, and you go right up here to collision, and you click auto convex collision. You can do all these different kinds of collision fields right here. So this is like 26. I don't know exactly what DOP stands for but it's just simplified collision and you click that and it'll add like this box to it right and yeah that's cool but you can't go through the middle of it if like you want to actually walk on the bridge so what you do I'm just gonna remove that right now is you click auto convex collision and it'll bring up this convex decompo decomposition tab right here now you can change how many holes you want all the way down to the minimum is 2, all the way up to the maximum is 64. You can take the whole verts, minimum of 6, all the way up to 32, and the precision from 10,000 all the way up to, I guess, a million. But what this does is, so I'm going to take, for instance, at lowest volume, you press, eh, you press apply, and what it's going to do is it's going to take the lowest maximum, like, points, or the minimum amount of points and create a collision course with the minimum amount of points and yeah that's really trashy for this but what you can do is you can take it and turn all the way up to the max and uh, press apply I'm really bad at speaking but it's okay I was just trying to make this video very quickly and get it out there because I'm sure there are other people having this issue as well and not a single person that I've seen so far has made a video about little stuff like this. I had to go all the way back into a tutorial for Unreal Engine 4 and then find the button and kind of figure it out from there. I had to kind of do it myself, but it's okay. I wanted to be able to share this with whoever else needed this little tip because I tried Googling it so many, <laughs> so many times. So we waited for it to load and apply. And now look at that. Now right here, you can see it goes all the way to the corners. It comes down, it goes all the way across it comes up right there and it gets it even gets like the little turn and the little curve in the actual bridge and see that's just a lot better and now this if you wanted to we'll go ahead and press save right here wait for it to save all the package packages press save come into the blueprint test world and we're just gonna drag out this bridge and set it right there and then what we're gonna do is press play and we'll see that when you walk on this bridge you go up the little steps and you go down the steps on this side you can jump over the edge you can stand on top of it and your feet are like almost perfectly touching it 
and that's perfect collision with that. So that's just a simple little tutorial. I didn't know that it was really that easy, but apparently it was. It took me like an hour and a half to figure it out. So uh, if anybody else needed help with that, there you go. Leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe for more. I'll be making a lot more videos and content on Unreal Engine 5, especially from now since I've got that under my belt. But uh, yeah, cool. Later.